What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now, long before Spider-Man No Way Home was announced, or before we knew it was basically a live action into the Spider-Verse, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness was easily the craziest crossover film upcoming. And just this weekend, we heard from Benedict Cumberbatch himself, assuring us that Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness would still rival Spider-Man No Way Home as one of the most ambitious superhero movies ever, considering it's the same franchise that has a Avengers Endgame, that's saying a lot. Now we have a brand new rumor on the heels of a report from just weeks ago that indicates some plot narrative for Scarlet Witch and a major death that may be in tow for this Avenger. We're breaking down the brand new rumor, how it connects to everything else we've heard about the film, what gives me pause just a little bit, and why I think there is some truth to this rumor, whether it's a rumor or not how it would fit nicely into the story, add those sort of stakes that they're always saying are missing from Marvel movies. We're breaking down everything in this most recent rumor for Scarlet Witch in the upcoming Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but first, maybe if you could consider hitting the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content here at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns and recaps, all the way to the anonymous 4chan plot leak and rumors like we're covering today. So if that kind of thing is for you, maybe consider subscribing, leaving a comment down below, and if you do so, that'll automatically enter you to win the giveaways here at the channel, which they are many, and I will get into those again at the end of the video. Okay, quickly, the normal and customary spoiler warning. Remember to take anything that does not come directly from Marvel Studios with a grain of salt. We are squarely in grain of salt territory, but it's sometimes these anonymous leaks that are the ones that end up becoming 100% true. So, if this is in any way going to ruin the future of Marvel Phase 4 and or Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness for you, I ain't mad at you, but you might want to back out now. The brand new rumor circulating regarding this film is that, quote, Doctor Strange 2 will take place two years after WandaVision, where we will see Strange face a difficult choice between ending Wanda Maximoff's life to save the multiverse or abiding by his Hippocratic Oath and dooming all of reality. Quick clarification, the Hippocratic Oath is one of the oldest binding documents in history written by Hippocrates and is still held sacred to physicians to say. It says stuff like, treat the ill to the best of one's ability, preserve the patient's privacy. It has gone on to include phrases like, battle misinformation, curb one's biases, but is still the doctor's oath in how they treat patients and serve as a doctor. And that recasts the details of what's going on with Scarlet Witch in an entirely new light. So before we foreshadow what her death would mean to the narrative, this is sort of making it seem as though the Scarlet Witch, the things that transpired during WandaVision and took Wanda Maximoff, who was already a witch, to the title of Scarlet Witch, that Scarlet Witch would actually be a sickness, something that Doctor Strange has to treat and that immediately put me in mind of another very famous marvel entity that sort of gives power to but takes over the host or entity that it becomes attached to that of course is the dark phoenix which has absolutely failed miserably in the now defunct fox x-men universe we've even seen it on the 90s fox cartoon and that's what I mentioned during the prologue is giving me pause that the Dark Phoenix saga has been done so many times already in media outside of comics for the Marvel franchise that it just seems like this wouldn't be the direction they would want to go. But maybe in lieu of not doing something like Dark Phoenix, they can still take inspiration there. And so it seems, via this plot leak, if it's correct, that this Scarlet Witch is more of an entity taking over Wanda, making her sick, something she can be cured of, and that's Doctor Strange's line in the movie. But it gets a lot more complicated than that. Remember, during the events of WandaVision in the finale, Agatha Harkness made sure to mention that the foretold prophecy of the Scarlet Witch is that she would pass the power level of even Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme. We've also heard a ton of rumors and or plot leaks about the upcoming film that Shuma Garath would actually be the main villain, not Scarlet Witch, even though some plot leaks have indicated that she would be, and that America Chavez is actually one of the main plot elements and that Shuma Garath is chasing America Chavez for her superpower, which is unlimited access to the multiverse, which would be granted to Shuma Garath, who, for the record, may be the multi-tentacle creature we've seen in the previous What If episodes. Speaking of which, we've already heard that What If will come to bear in the upcoming MCU live action, that it's canonically connected, and that we will at least see some of these characters, one of which Captain Carter is expected to show up during Multiverse of Madness. Alongside her, Professor X, one of the iterations from the old Fox universe, 
showing up to battle Wanda as well. And if Captain Carter can cross over, then so can Strange Supreme. I've had my own assumption about what if this entire time, as the Watcher has become more and more a part of things going on, that towards the end of this series, when finally we see the episode in which Vision becomes Ultron and gets the Infinity Gauntlet, that the Watcher is going to need to cross the entire episodes canonically that we've seen and pick out the strongest warriors and able to battle him. That's where we'll get the multiverse guardians that we saw in the trailer. Also that scene when Captain Carter finally meets up with, and I shouldn't call him Evil Strange, we've been calling him that. It's actually Strange Supreme, and that was an iteration from the comics. I think there's at least a chance that no matter how What If resolves, that some of those characters coming into the multiverse of madness will still make sense. And I know that there seems to be several separate seeds here, one for Kang, one for WandaVision, even one for Spider-Man No Way Home, but it seems as though the breaking of the multiverse is something that's going to continue and really not come to full culmination until we do get to Multiverse of Madness, where they're going to finally make canon all of the other Marvel universes that have existed. And in that, at least if they don't wrap up Kang's storyline, it would still make sense for the breaking of the multiverse storyline to wrap up there, making again all of this stuff canon. In that, I could see how Scarlet Witch will become the crux of this, tying it all together. Doctor Strange has to decide the multiverse or Scarlet Witch's life. That'll lead into perhaps the last multiverse war where they defeat Kang. Maybe that's Avengers 5. One other thing I do want to mention and why it would make sense for them to kill off Scarlet Witch, much in the way they've gotten rid of some of the other characters in the MCU. It's not just because once a character's arc is done, it's done, or that these characters have been in the MCU for 10 plus years or decades. They want to go and do other stuff in their careers. It's more has to do with the power creep I keep bringing up. I feel like once a month here at the channel and is going to come to the forefront in oh so fast once we start getting characters like Adam Warlock. You cannot have every new superhero be the most powerful hero ever. And in fact, it actually undoes stakes. And that's the stakes I was referring to earlier in the prologue. Not the stakes of Scarlet Witch's death, but if you have too many overpowered characters, too many overpowered villains, then it all starts to become white noise. And characters like Falcon and Spider-Man, the future of Daredevil, they can't compete with a power level like Scarlet Witch, what we would call in the comics an Omega level mutant. It would make sense for some of these characters who sort of reach the apex of power set to come and go in the MCU, or else you'll have a collection of all of them that seem to make every other villain and superhero super unimportant, especially if Wanda were to remain, say, a hero, and she can simply solve every battle herself being this powerful. That's why it makes a lot of sense for her to have to go. And while it gives me pause that they would do something like a Dark Phoenix entity, when, I, again, I said in the prologue stakes, what I meant was get rid of her character because, honestly, she's overpowered. Like some of these others, you just can't have too many of them in the MCU. But guys, let me know all your thoughts down below about all of this and quickly, Let's jump into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away a couple of PlayStation 5s, one at 900,000 and the other at uh, the conclusion of What If. So we're headlong into both of those that can easily happen within the next month or two. All you have to do to be entered to win that or any of the other giveaways here at the channel, super simple. Hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below. And because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners are announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. This is everything always. Thanks for checking it out. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at I am fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. See you guys again real soon.